Does anybody ever think that golf is sometimes way too easy? Um, me neither, but today I thought I'd make it a little bit more difficult. Um, let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, today I have a treat for you. I am playing one of the most difficult golf courses in Europe with the G-Force Swing Trainer set. Guys, I have a driver, I have a 7-9, I have a wedge, and I even have a putter. This is going to be quite interesting because you can see, um, yeah, you can really see how much you have to get your rhythm right with these. Guys, I'm going to take on some of the hardest holes on one of the hardest golf courses in Europe. But first of all, I'm going to have a little bit of a warm-up to see if I can actually hit these clubs because uh, it looks quite difficult. I'll get into what these clubs are actually for as well. Let's start with a putter and move our way backwards. Now, you see, rhythm and timing in golf is vitally important throughout the bag with every single club. Starting with the putter here with the G-Force clubs, you can really see how difficult this is potentially going to be. You can't force it, you can't manipulate it. You have to let the forces, the G-Forces, Go on, go on, go on. Oh, you have to let them work, guys, and you have to use the weight of the club to actually hit the ball. Now, if I'm struggling this much with the putter, imagine what the driver's gonna be like. Stay tuned for that, and subscribe, guys, if you're enjoying it. Oh, this is so difficult, even just this. Right, we've made one, we've made one. Let's, oh, I can't lean on that. Let's get to the range, or oh, in fact, no, wedges. Wedges. The wedge I have is a 55 degree. Again, it's the G-Force floppy shaft. That's the scientific name I'm going to call it. And again, you have to keep in control of this club head, or you're just going to duff it, you're going to shank it, and it's not going to be very fun. Um, oh, that's actually, I'm not going to tell you which one I was aiming at, but I actually quite enjoyed that. That's going to come down the hill as well. The greens here are outstandingly fast. Oh. That's the difference. Comment below, what am I going to shoot? I'm going to take on a par 3, a par 4, and a par 5. Ooh. Let's go to the range. Now, what worries me about this video isn't necessarily that I'm going to make a fool of myself, because I can do that anyway. It's that fine margin between success and failure, and I really don't like failure. I want to try and shoot around level par today with that um oh that's a little bit right see distance is going to be an issue as well i've got no idea yes we have a wedge of seven nine and a driver but how far oh that's better she's really starting to train in that rhythm of releasing the club down and using the, the weight of it seven nine this is the first ever attempt with these clubs i wanted you guys to see it right. we're aiming kind of straight down the range and that was a duff this is going to be so interesting guys my, my thought here is to take on foxy off scratch in another video but i need to be able to get the club onto the ball like that i'm so interested to see what this looks like back as well one more then big dog The strikes are phenomenal, it's just a little bit right. This is what you've all been waiting for, I think. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think they are designed to go and be played with. They are training aids, I can't stress that enough. But this is a bit of fun. I'll stop it, how good is that? Let's get out on the course. We're breaking par, Foxy. We're going deep. That warm-up went way better than anticipated, and now I'm actually looking forward to this. Um, you know what, the girls go in there. In you go. Right, guys, we're going to kick things off on the second hole, par three, 145 metres, around 160 yards. This is about the distance I would hit my standard 7-iron, so we're going to need a pretty good strike. I don't think I'll get the ball speed maybe with this shaft, although maybe it'll act as a bit of a catapult as long as we get the strike and we use the forces, the G forces, those ones. Right. Come on. It's 
going to go right a bit, struggling to square the face up on the range. How good's that strike? Just get in a little bit. That's gone miles, and I'm I'm taking that. It's a miss green, but we'll use the wedge. And you see a lot of people might be thinking, James, why are you bothering doing this? Why are you using these silly clubs on such a difficult golf course? Because it's fun. And sometimes it's nice to do something a little bit different. And I think this could definitely help with a lot of people's rhythm. So there we go, the rhythm is a dancer. So we are actually flag high here, but what worries me is this lie. I don't think this is gonna be easy to get the loft on it because that is a downhill flag as well. We almost need to get this running just a touch. Oh, delicate. Sit. Oh, that's almost as good as you could do. Missed it on the wrong side, I think. Now the key here is getting the right distance and making sure you don't let the putter release itself too much. A four isn't a bad score on the opening hole, but a five is. How's that roll? Go on, go on, go on. We'll take that and we'll move on. That was a fantastic roll, and that's a bogey to kick things off. Par five next. Right, this is where I really hope that shot wasn't a fluke on the range. It's definitely gonna be a three shotter today because all we have is a driver and a seven iron. So hopefully it's driver seven iron, seven iron, seven iron. When we get on there, I feel like it lets me kind of load up better and then keep that rhythm. Last thing you want to do is let the club in front of you. Cut. Cut. It was good. It was just a bit pulley. Oh, we'll take that all day. It's landed on the hard pan, so it might actually give us a little bit as well. And that was, that was actually quite a good strike for um, the circumstances you could... Yeah, yeah. I think that was a success. I think. I think you can see something. I recognise the line on the ball. There she blows. That's massive. That's run all the way down this path here. That's uh, it cheat, cheat codes. Right, not the best lie. I'm going to hit it from here though because it's uh, certainly not the worst lie you can get on this golf course. I'm going to try and get as close as we can and then hope I can hit something with the wedge. I'm going to let that Mercedes go though on the right hand side. You know what, a good one of these and we might be up there. Sit. That's gone near the bunker and if it's gone in the bunker we are absolutely screwed. Hmm. I feel like something happened to be balanced then, like I just tried to hit it too hard. Now, I'm a bit worried here because this has sat down a bit and I need to get a bit of whip through it. You're not safe there, mate, just so you know. Oh, be as good as you look. Sit, sit. That's going to run through. I'm going to take that all day. Really does give you an appreciation of how you can get the club working through long grass because that could have gone very wrong. So to talk seriously for a second about the G-Force clubs, for me it's something which certainly does help you feel the weight of the club, it helps you feel how to release a club properly and it is used by a few top pros and a few top coaches just to get people a bit of a feeling. Obviously I've taken this to the kind of next level by taking not only out on a golf course but on one of the most difficult golf courses you could find but certainly something to take to the driving range and have a go with. Right, not a lot of stop there. It has run out quite long, but it's a birdie putt and it's a green in regulation. So, let's see if we can roll this down here. The last putt was actually quite good. Left it short again. Distance control so difficult with it. I'm taking that all day, guys. That's a five, that's a par. We're still one over par. Quite a difficult par four coming up. But if we get the drive away, it should be a seven iron in. Hopefully. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is going way better than I anticipated, so there's that. Right, 336 metres, that's around 380 yards, 
We are into the wind though. This needs to be a good one. And we'll try and get this moving right to left in the air. So I feel like I need to release the club down and get that path working out. It's gonna be very difficult to do that with the shaft, but anything other than kind of a, a right shot here really. Oh yes, how about that? Now guys, comment below, does my rhythm look different here? Because that felt like it was the world's slowest backswing into a position where I could then turn through and get it out there. Game on, game on. Now, if I do say so myself, that is in the middle of the fairway, bang in the middle of the fairway as well. Guys, would you like to see me play 18 holes with these clubs? I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna need quite a lot of likes. If this video gets 20,000 likes, which would be a new record, I will play 18 holes of golf with these GeForce clubs, 20,000. Get this video shared. I also wanna see if I can make a birdie here and shoot level for the three holes, because that would be quite, to be honest, I expected this to, did you expect this to go badly? Uh, but yeah, on this golf course, especially with that driver, but you've hit it really. You mean that, that driver, that we 150 into the wind. I'm quite grateful it's into the wind, because that means we might get a little bit of spin and stop if I can hit the green. Although I might have to muscle this one a bit. Distance hasn't really been an issue, not like I thought it would. Get left, please, because that's such a good strike. Oh, it's in the bunker. <laughs> that felt so good as well. Look at the divot. I'm going to get another one for practice because I enjoyed it so much. And guys, this is what these kind of videos can do for me anyway. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. That's even worse. The strikes there, it's just the club just kind of tweaks a little bit. Maybe I need to work on getting that handle forward and clearing the body more. But anyway, the strikes are central enough, I think. Now, the really annoying thing for me here is that that's flag high, as you can see, both of those shots I hit finished in the bunker. The first one actually just pitched here. It was flag high, but there was loads of room to the left. The shot was definitely aim at the left side of the green, knowing that sometimes these clubs are gonna leave the face open pretty much all of the time for me, which is something I can maybe work on with my rhythm, etc., etc. But that's just course management. That isn't the shafts. That's me not playing the right shots because now I'm left with a downhill chip out of a bunker with a noodle. Awesome. To be honest, I think I'd rather uh, I'd rather hit the rake than this out of here. Careful, mate, because this could go anywhere. I don't really know. That's like the last place I'd stand. Ready, All right, ready. I've seen you in slips, mate. I tell you what, oh, that was delightful. Look where that was struck as well. There's something in this. Guys, there's definitely something in this. This is definitely making me have a better rhythm. It's almost kind of re-engineering my swing a little bit, which not that it needed doing, but definitely feels good, feels positive. We should all try this. There's a the title. I'll tell you what, I don't think I'd have got that close. Well, maybe I would, but it would have been a totally different shot. I wouldn't have been able to land it there and release down. This is a huge putt in the context of this challenge. This is for a par. And to shoot one over par. We've rolled it good, we've just left them short. This is left, this isn't gonna be left short. I'd rather three put this long than leave it an inch short. I've pulled it. That was, ah, you've, all your rhythm's gone there. <sighs> And that is another bogey, guys. That's two over par for three rather difficult golf holes here at Desert Springs with shafts that you could say are impossible to use. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see more. I'm now going to take on Foxy off scratch with these golf clubs. So stay tuned for that. And apart from that, guys, huge thanks to Desert Springs for hosting us. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hold on, mate. Are you having a go? Go on, then. There you go. <laughs>